All right, another quick update video on this thing. I uh, got my coolant tank mounted. Got everything under the hood. About ready to go. Got the fuel pump switched out. That was a bit of a challenge. Took a little longer than it should have, but um, got that done. I'll have to reset the pressure. And make sure the pressure's where it needs to be, that sort of thing. Um, you gotta go down there and then come over to the bottom of the intercooler. But that's getting there. I got a couple, couple pipes. Over here, a couple of things to work with. Build the cold side, I might have to run the summit and get a couple more couplers and whatnot. But it's pretty close. I kind of got, got it figured out how I want to route everything. Now I just got to make it happen, right? So yesterday I spent a little time. I, I'd want to do the interior swap stuff with the console and the steering wheel so I got that steering wheel out I took the console and gutted it pulled out the that amp down there the sub thing all that you know all that stuff's heavy and I wasn't gonna be using it so I pulled it out this is the the wiring harness for the steering column so uh, the steering columns are the same except for the spline for the steering wheel so one of my other videos i mentioned that the splines were different i, I had no idea that there was a difference in splines you know chevrolet is typically pretty good about having things interchange and stuff but the the splines on the hub right here just, just was was a different spine. I was really surprised when I tried to put the wheel on and it didn't fit. So I watched a couple videos. Well, actually there was only one video I found on YouTube about it. And the guy uh, actually took the end of the just that spline section out of the steering column. I mean, it was. A, Looked like a lot of work. He had a lot specialized tools and all this stuff. And I mean, it, it was like a 45 minute video. And um, so, anyway, got it switched out, pulled the column out, swapped the wiring harness. Uh, you got to swap the um, blinker switch turn signal thing. And you got to swap that out. So, now I've got the nice uh, shifter, the steering wheel, and then the put the center console in. I don't have the wires hooked up yet. I, what I'm going to do is just wire up that one. You can see that one uh, cigarette lighter just so I can power my wideband when I go to dialogue and stuff. So but it's bolted in you can see the nice gap down there for where the shifter was i was i, I was hoping it would have covered it up but i was wrong so here's the, got the console all that soon i'm probably not gonna worry about hooking up that um that other cigarette liner i don't i don't smoke so of course we got the audio controls you know that nobody can get to but but there's no audio in it to play with so we got uh so you replace the glove box door the console and then you gotta have this panel as well so i think it turned out pretty good i mean you know it's it's 06 stuff so it's not perfect shape but neither is the truck so but even uh may, may have gone a little too far but Put the Cadillac headrest on there, right? I thought about doing the um, chrome door handles, but 
I was like, maybe that's a bit too gaudy. But it has the uh, the black, you know, the black. These handles are black with the, the chrome thing, but I just don't think it'll go with the truck, you know, with the flat black uh, fender thing and stuff. So I think I'll just, I think I'll quit while I'm ahead. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Hopefully today I can get the cold side done and um like i say get get started on trying to tune it and getting it dialed in and see if we can make some progress <laughs>